everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs this is going to be for the sun moon and rising of a libra let's see what spirit has for you libras out there spirit what are the messages what are the messages for libras for the mid-month of september 2017 regarding their love life spirit what are the messages for libras regarding their mid love reading Whoa. Okay, so you have cards popping out already. All right, let's get into your reading, Libras. You have the Four of Swords as a general energy. The Four of Swords definitely talks about uh, taking a break. Um, it could be walking away from a relationship just so you can get clarity or understanding or figuring out certain things. Uh, it can also be a representation, not necessarily of you, but this could be your partner's energy as well. Okay. So the queen of swords definitely popped out. So it could be you dealing with another air sign, which would be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius like yourself. Um, wow. Okay. And I will be pulling out cards for your partner as well. And I will be pulling out the current situation. Spirit, what is the current situation for Libras regarding their love life for the mid month of September 2017? Okay, there's definitely a lot of air energy here in your reading, Libras. So, what this represents is you guys are having a lot of issues that have to do and blockages that have to do with making up your mind or having um, too much anxiety and stress behind making a decision, a decision that directly affects your partner or the person that you're with, okay? So, current situation, wow, okay. So you have the 10 of wands. The 10 of wands, definitely a lot of stress, a lot of burdens, uh, having to cope with certain situations that may have arisen from previous um the past two, three weeks, um, and again, uh, feeling overwhelmed. So this perhaps has to do a lot with money-wise, and that's the reason why you guys are currently struggling, uh, you and your partner, or again, it could just be a representation of the fact that you guys have been having a lot of miscommunication, not understanding each other, where it's actually creating a lot of burdens for you at the present time. Almost, I feel you almost like this is too much for me to deal with, that it's you're right at the breaking point of walking away from this relationship, uh, Libra. Now, the cards that are your cards, you have the Queen of Swords. So this could be a person that you're dealing with. This could be your partner, or it could very well represent, um, obviously, your energy. You are um, an air sign. But this is a female energy, and I'm not sensing, I, this is a general reading, so I could, you know, females, um, the queens can also represent kings, uh, sorry, it could represent males as well in any reading, um, but I'm sensing like this more has more to do not with the person that you're currently with, but with the person from the past. So it could have been an air sign, like yourself, it could be their moon, sun, or rising, it doesn't have to be their sun sign. Um, and this is a person that's very strong headed. It's a person that is very, very articulate and very smart um, or conniving. They can almost be, you know, borderline conniving. Um, and I feel that because you have the two of swords, you're not wanting to make a choice, Libra. So you're not wanting to make a choice in regards to the person that you're with at the current at the current time. Um, perhaps you guys are having a lot of miscommunication, like I said, not understanding you're not being a support system for one another. And at this point, you guys are all about the balance. You guys are all about, you have to give me peace. And if you don't give me peace, then I'm peacing out. <laughs> uh, Libras are not very well known for being able to deal with under pressure. Um, so again, there's definitely a stuckness here. You're not wanting to make a choice. Perhaps it could be your partner that is currently pushing you to either step it uh, step up the game. Uh, what I mean by that is take it a little bit further and actually make a commitment to them. Um, or it could be a representation of them being, you know, they have stuck around for quite a while and you're not really doing anything to move forward this relationship. At this point, they're making you choose and that's something you're not wanting to do. For those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship or have been married for a while, again, the two of swords is definitely you wanting to make a choice if you want to continue this relationship or walk away from the relationship 
okay now you do have the six of swords here and the six of swords is being able to move forward being able to get away from you know chaos and uncertainty and be able to you know pick up the pace and be a little bit more steady uh the six of swords can also represent travel so for some of you guys it can even represent like you guys wanting to take some time away as we initially spoke about the four of swords so maybe there may for some of you guys it could represent that you guys are actually officially giving each other a break uh and this is you either getting away or going to the next city, whatever, to try to clear your mind and figure out what it is that you want at the current time or the present time. Now, the strength card here is definitely talking about a lot that has to do, there's a lot of suppressed emotions here, okay? And this, again, uh, for some reason, the past four or five months, Libras have been very connected to their past. So this can very well uh, represent that you've been struggling or having through, going through, um, a healing phase, a healing phase that has to do with, you know, things that you've dealt with in the past that perhaps were very traumatizing for you. Either it could be psychologically, um, you perhaps never, you weren't perhaps taught uh, what a monogamous relationship really looks like, what a commitment actually is. Because for some of you guys, maybe you guys grew up, um, you know, without a parent. Uh, for some of you guys, there was a lot of chaos in your home. So, ultimately what this is saying is you're going to have the strength to move forward and see things in a very different perspective but it's really up to you to put the grounds work to actually put the effort into making this relationship work a lot of libras have a tendency again like i said when you guys have a lot of stress going on and a lot of chaos it's very easy for you guys to walk away because you guys are not good with being very forcefully under pressure so again do not make the same mistakes you made in the past if you feel that this person you know that you're really connected to this person and you genuinely love them uh you should give them that type of respect and that type of commitment to work through difficulties that that would ultimately that's what relationships are about okay now how your partner is in this situation they're wanting clarity and they want answers uh the ace of swords is definitely talking about a new beginning but that new beginning is not coming unless there's clarity and honesty uh, with that attached so again it probably has to do with again like I said having to make a choice perhaps they're the ones that make you um, make that choice take that decision and they're not wanting to hear about it unless you're going to be upfront and honest with your intentions okay now they do have the eight of swords here and the eight of swords is a representation of being stuck feeling emotionally bounded to you there it's really hard for them to walk away from this relationship because they feel like they've invested so much and quite honestly i you know very rarely do Libras emotionally invest a lot of effort into relationships because you guys are are definitely an air sign uh you guys tend to you know th see things on a very superficial level um and I don't mean that in a negative way I just mean that a lot of the times emotions don't really they don't really bring you down like they would in example a water sign and for some of you guys I feel that maybe it's your partner the one that's too much emotionally invested in this relationship and that's the reason why they're feeling stuck that's the reason why they feel drained they feel like they're stuck and they're not wanting to move forward they're scared to move forward but they don't want to move backwards so it's like at a stalemate on both sides now the two of pentacles here again decisions you guys have you know you're you're gonna have to make a choice based on that choice you guys will move forward or end the relationship for them they have the two of pentacles so it's about balance so it's either they are going to come to the realization that they've put too much effort into this relationship and if you're not going to meet them halfway or if you're not going to invest the way they've invested they're going to walk away from this relationship without a doubt this can also represent for those of you guys that are married or have been married for quite a while if there is no balance in this relationship most definitely it's your partner the one that's walking away from this okay it is a general energy uh, general reading i mean so it could go both ways but i feel it very strongly for the partner the person that's dealing with the libra so again like i said based on the decision or based on the clarity that you give to them they will then be able to move forward either to decide if they want to continue working towards this relationship or wanting to continuously keep investing in this relationship and moving forward. For some of you guys, this <clears throat> eight of pentacles can represent 
also that you guys have currently have been having again like I said a lot of difficulties when it comes to money and the two of pentacles here is definitely talking about having scarce or the lack of money the lack to pay bills whatever it may be and finally um an offer comes through an offer either for your partner or for you but these are the partners of your partner so perhaps it's your partner that gets an opportunity when it comes to working and finances to actually be able to work out or bring a little bit more stability into the household okay so i know um this was a uh, very to the point i hope that you guys i mean if you really care for the person invest in the relationship don't easily walk away based off of frustrations based off of difficulties that's what life is about and there is a difference between being with someone and finding a life partner and if you ever come to finding a life partner then you should know that it's going to take both of you guys time determination and effort to make anything work okay i wish you guys the very best i hope you guys like this video like share and comment my videos if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe and we'll see each other in the beginning of the month bye